Hi, my name is Oscar, and as you know, I'm a scientist. Today we have a different topic to cover. We're going to talk about this channel, this community that we are building, and what's going to happen over the next months. We are already passing summer 2023, and I think it's a good time to reflect and talk about what I have prepared for you. Moving forward, I want to support the EB1A and EB2NAW green card community, and I think it's interesting to know what's coming. So let's talk about that. All right, so let's talk about the EB2NIW online course. I'm always, and you may notice it, that I get really excited talking about the course because I do believe that this is the most comprehensive material that you can find out there if you are a do-it-yourself petitioner doing this without lawyers. Even if you are working with attorneys, Getting into a course like this will really prepare you to ask the right questions, to understand what they are doing, and make sure you can follow up with them correctly. So I want to tell you what is coming up in the course in the coming months. September, October, that is pretty soon, we are going to release the bonus modules Adjustment of Status and Consular Processing. These were modules that I always had as extra. They are not really included in the pricing but I want to provide it because it is the second part of the process. What happens after the I-140 is approved, that's the more complicated part of your process. But what happens afterwards? If you are in the US and want to file adjustment of status, if you are abroad, you are going to do consular processing, I'm going to have a module explaining what you can expect in detail with some examples, with some information that is not uh, out there right now. Again, that is bonus. I never rushed to it because of the current backlog. Um, people that were enrolled in the course were still going through the process and they cannot file adjustment of status yet. I did include and I still do include my adjustment of status package that people can download in the course. But now they are going to have lectures on it so they can um, prepare their adjustment of status or consular processing process better. This I'm rushing a little bit because the visa bulletin is now advancing, which is great, and people may be able to start filing their adjustment of status soon. October, November, we're going to release a new bonus module that is not being announced until right now, and we're going to have a bonus module talking about request for evidence. We're going to have a lecture talking about how you can interpret what the officer is telling you in the RFE if you get an RFE. And you are going to also have some tools to help you reply with some templates on the response letter and some tips that you can follow to craft a very effective response so the officer approves your case. Remember that the RFE is not the end of the world, it's just one step of the process, a second opportunity to convince that officer. And I have a video on RFEs that, that you can watch here as well. In October also, I'm going to start monthly live sessions, or I will probably call them office hours. This is for the online course students, of course, um, and I want to see you face to face. So I'm going to send an email every month asking for questions in advance. So you will be able to submit your questions. I will select the best questions, the questions that can help most people in the course. And we're going to join a live session and we're going to discuss these topics together for one or two hours every month. I think I'm very excited about this part because I'm going to get to know you more personally. I know some of you because you hire um, one hour conversations or express reviews with me, but now I'm going to be able to meet more and more of you, which is really, really excellent for me. I'm a bit selfish here. Before the end of the year and into 2024, we're going to start renewing all the contents, all the lectures I'm going to start re-recording. Why? Because there has been, I don't know if you noticed, a little bit of a technical upgrade in the channel. I have better camera, I have better audio, and I want to, better lights as well, I want to bring that into the course. The course is great as it is in terms of content, but I'm going to do that technical upgrade and I'm going to take that opportunity to update some of the material, make it more effective. I now have a lot of exposure to a lot of people. I have seen a lot of real examples. 
and I'm going to be able to deliver a more effective content for you. By the way, uh, pricing. Is the pricing going to change? Yes, the pricing most likely in 2020, end of 2023, 2024 is going to change. It's going to be uh, increased a little bit because really the price we have now is an introductory price. But if you sign up before that happens, you will secure your, let's say, cheaper uh, price. Okay, so if you sign up now in the coming months, you will guarantee the, the current pricing that will not go up for you. Remember that the course is valid for one year. Okay, so take the advantage of signing up right now. What's happening in the YouTube channel? You may be thinking, well, you're too excited about the course, you want to sell us the course, and you're going to forget about YouTube because it's free. And that is nothing far uh, farther from the truth. You know that I keep um, uploading content to YouTube. We have already surpassed the 5,000 subscribers mark, and I thank you for that, really. I am beyond surprised and humbled by, by your participation as subscribers and by all the views that we're getting and all the comments. And I, I, have, I have seen so many positive comments that I, I cannot even tell you how thankful I am for that feedback. Even when the comments are not so great, I'm also thankful, but, but you have given me a lot of support. So we're going to continue that weekly or bi-weekly videos on EB2 and EB1 topics, those green cards where you can self-petition. I constantly research uh, topics, news, and also core fundamental um, learning topics that, that we can all take advantage from. I'm going to keep doing shorts. I started doing shorts a few months ago and I do more and more. We now have more than 35 shorts. I also use them for Instagram. And I think it's a nice way to um, attract people into the channel. I, I get a lot of people that see the shorts and then they subscribe. So we keep growing as a channel and I'm going to continue that. We'll get a bit deeper into EB1A. I started EB2AW first, then I um, started talking about EB1A. We're going to see more and more videos on that, even though the audience is a little bit um, smaller. Okay. And I understand that less people can apply for EB1A. It's a higher standard, but I think that at the end of the day, I don't do this for the views or, or the money. I do this to help um, the community. So EB1A is an interesting choice for many people, and I'm going to keep creating content for that. We're going to have some interviews on EB1A, as I have been uh, doing with EB2NAW. Maybe I'll have more experts in EB1A. It's a higher standard. We want to hear from people that have experience filing these cases. And we're going to see success stories as well. I started having clients on this front, and I'm sure soon uh, we'll be having some guests as well here. We are going to remake also some of the content that is already on the channel because, like I said earlier, there's technical upgrades to the channel, but also to reach more people. Unfortunately, the way YouTube works is that once a video has a week or two weeks, um, it kind of decays and people cannot find it easily anymore. So if we remake it, we update it also with new tips, with new information that is helpful for applicants, we will also reach more people. And that's what I intend to do as well. So other ways to stay tuned with Oscar's Green Card. Keep visiting ev2naw.info and ev1greencard.info. Those are my websites that I update from time to time with more content, guides. Uh, basically, everything that is on video here is in writing in the channel and many people prefer to read. And, you know, it's still my primary uh, motivation to have a good website, not so much everything else like the social media. But I also have an Instagram account that you can join at Oscars Green Card. And I do post a lot of the shorts that I post in um, YouTube. By the way, I also have a TikTok that I didn't put here, but uh, it's more or less the same type of content, the short video content, vertical. But uh, in Instagram, I also have these written success stories. Why? Because there's many people that write me emails saying, Oscar, I got approved thanks to your videos, thanks to your material. And I'm super thankful about that, but I want to share those success stories. And I know many people don't want to be in video, okay? They don't want to come on the channel because they are shy. They don't want to show their face and their names. So 
this is a good alternative. I make anonymous success stories. They are real. They, I can promise you. Uh, people write me, I gather the information, I ask a few questions, and I transform that information into these written success stories that you can go and read on my Instagram. And I think that is also valuable, even if they don't come on video. Telegram is the other way that you can keep updated. I mostly uh, have my video updates there. So the first place where I post that I published a video on YouTube is on the Telegram channel. So if you want to be one of the first to know, then join the Oscars Green Card Telegram. I'll leave a link also in the description below, like all of this that I'm talking about. Okay. So with that, I think um, that's enough. <laughs> you know, you have here my typical slide where I summarize everything, my websites, my courses, I do calls and reviews with people. So you can um, also talk with me on a one-to-one -one basis. Uh, we can have a a call is called one hour conversation with Oscar and we can use it to solve some questions and talk about your petition. But if you do want me to review your material, I do a high level review. It's called NIW Express Review Service or if you want Express Review Service. I've done many of them already and I think they provide what you need. An extra pair of eyes looking at your petition, giving you feedback, giving you the, the main comments of what needs to be improve so you can be as effective as possible with the USAS officer. But the number one resource I recommend keeps uh, being the EB1A or EB2NW online course because you can watch it at your own pace, it's structured, it's very comprehensive and you'll get also my template, my real petition so you can see how things are done and you can go and do your own thing successfully. Thank you again for your support. I am really, really humble always about everything that I read out there in the YouTube comments, the emails I get from people telling me I got approved. And honestly, they don't have to do that. <laughs> Some people I don't even know, but they still spend those few minutes to write an email and letting me know that they have been successful. And, and that really makes me extremely happy. Thank you again. I'll see you in this channel. Let's keep moving forward with this and let's keep helping each other. Thank you.